welcome uh, to the last session of the day. Um, we hope to, to not keep you too bored in this, uh, in this last uh, session. I know we've had, uh, we've had, had great speakers throughout the, the day. Um, and uh, I'm happy to, to welcome Dario Okrent to, to close out the, the, the session for us. Um, my name is Andres Sucre. I am founder and CEO of, of Reservamos. Um, very happy to have Dario here. He is the uh, chief digital officer for Alcea. Um, Alcea is uh, one of the largest, if not the largest uh, food franchise uh, company in the world with operations in uh, Europe and Latin America. Um, aside from that, Dario has had experience in a number of, uh, of digital specific roles uh, from Palacio de Hierro, uh, BBVA, uh, and, and, uh, and a brand called Wibe, focused on insurance, as well as Banco Azteca. Uh, so he's definitely a veteran of the industry. And uh, aside from that, uh, it, it, it brings me a great joy to have him here as well, because he has been uh, a close friend and advisor to Reservamos uh, for a number of years. So he's definitely seen us uh, since we were a very small company. And, and although we continue to, to, to be uh, a small company, def def definitely we, we're hitting uh, above our weight and, and he's seen us evolve in a number of ways. No? And so um, thank you and, and, and welcome Dario. Uh, I would like to remind you that, that the, uh, the structure of, of, the, of the session will be similar to, to the other structures that we've had. Uh, basically, we'll cover, co cover three main topics, um, 10 minutes each, and then we'll leave some space for questions at the end of the session. Um, and, and, and so uh, aside from that, we, we, the, the topic that we will cover today is uh, talent as as the key point of any digital transformation and not necessarily technology. Um, and uh, definitely as a company that has 60,000 employees and undergoing a, 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 a robust digital transformation, we thought that he would, would share with us uh, great insights into, into the company. So um, Dario, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. And, and, and to kick it off, um, basically I wanted to, to ask you You've been in, in, in these roles of, of digital transformation for a number of years. Uh, how has the market for talent evolved over the, over the years? And, and uh, how do you see it today uh, when compared to, to your, your past experiences? Well, thank you, Andres, and thank you everybody to, to join us in this conversation. Oh, well, I, I think that the... Uh, the, the, the market for for the digital areas uh, is always difficult because at the end of the day uh, the, the companies or the areas into the companies that are involved in the digital transformation or, or, or in e-commerce are uh, always looking for the best talent and the best talent is is finite is is, is not something uh, limitless so if you want to to have the best talent possible uh probably now or i know some years ago and i think in the near in the, in the coming years uh you you you, you should know that you, you are gonna pay uh more than uh, to to the talent in in other areas and maybe uh you, you will note that uh, the talent is not as good as you expect. So I think that one interesting thing is to develop a talented group uh, into the companies. And in my case, as, as you said, Andres, I, 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 I was uh, working in, in different companies and some of these people <laughs> are working with me for the last nine years in, in, in three or four different companies. So uh, it's a matter of confidence, it's a matter of, of training, and it's a matter of, of, of having um, interesting projects to, to work in for. But because right now there is another situation, you, you can work uh, wherever you want 
for different companies. So the problem is not only the local talent, but also if you want work for I don't know for a bank or for a transportation company, you're competing against Amazon, against companies around the world that offer you um, an interesting uh, conditions uh, in hard uh, money like USD. So it is not easy to, to have the talent, to, to retain the talent. Uh, so that's the situation. Yes, for, for, for sure. Um, so, and I'm sure it's the case that, and uh, in your case, that, that you recently took up the, the job at, at, at ASEA not too long ago. Um, my question is, once you get into a new role like this, that you try to build out kind of top, talent uh, in, in your team. And, and, and I think Elon Musk is one who says uh, you can have kind of the, the top player on the team and you may win, but usually you need the entire team uh, to be good and not only the entire team to be good, but also collaborate uh, well. No? And so I think, uh, well, my question to you is how do you think about building the right pieces of your team Whenever you come into uh, a role like 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 the one that you have right now, which is a, a chief digital role in, in in such a such a large organization, I, it's a really interesting question because uh, when I the people ask me in which subject matter I'm expert, I say I'm not an expert in the marketing and not an expert in e-commerce. I'm not an expert in logistic and uh, in in data, I am an expert in digital transformation. So I, and also I will consider myself very good creating these, um, these, these teams with experts. So to me, it's, it's, it's key to have the best people in each role. So for example, I, uh, I just have uh, an year here in Alsea. And in this year I was focused on on, on having the best talent possible for each position in terms of marketing, e-commerce, data, CRM, analytics, loyalty. Uh, so uh, with this uh, key talent uh, on board, and of course, everybody working uh, as, a, as a team coordinated, it's really easy to me to, for, for me to, um, to develop the, the right strategy, uh, but again, um, it's a matter of confidence, it's a matter to, to have the, the right talent and to take care about this talent, uh, in, not only because the money, but also because the conditions, the, the challenges that you, you, you offer to the people, because at the end of the day, in this market, you have many choices to work with. So you, 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 uh, you, you should know that um, you are competing um, with this kind of project. So at least in my industry to, to do the digital transformation of the food industry is, is, is a great challenge. And the, the people that are on board is excited about this, this, uh, this challenge in, for, 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 for them, not only uh, for the company, but also for, for them that is key. Yeah, you, you, meant, you mentioned something interesting, which is, which is the competition for, for talent, no? And, and I think, um, even in a, in a previous session, one of the speakers was, was saying that, that, that the bus industry in particular is not necessarily uh, sexy when compared to, to some other alternatives out there in terms of, 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 of new projects or, 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 or competition for that talent. Um, I think Alsea may face something similar because it's a, it's a large, more traditional business in, in, in that sense. And, and obviously they operate in, in a great trend of, of, of uh, a food uh, transformation, but but how do you think about um, kind of the the offer in terms of packages, as you mentioned, not only monetary, but but in general the 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 motivation, the culture, the conditions um, that 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 you put forward in terms of of bringing on kind of top talent, as you mentioned. No? So so how do you think about that that in in the context of of uh, of competition? Um, yeah, we. we... I, I'm clear, we are not Amazon, we are not Uber or, or even uh, Mercado Libre or Rappi. Um, but on the other hand, 
because our uh, size, we can partner them. So what, what we can offer to our people is to think about how to transform the food industry in the coming years in terms of digital innovation, in the omnichannel experience. So for the people that are working in, in, the, uh, in Alsea, but particularly in my team, the idea to, to, to work with the top management and teams of Amazon, Uber, and even our uh, franchisors like Domino's, you know that Domino's is not considered themselves uh, as a pizza company, but is considered themselves as a technology company that uh, they, they do pizzas, okay? Yeah. So yeah. to work with them, uh, learning uh, from the leaders and rethinking the uh, food industry and food tech industry for the coming years is a great challenge. And uh, not only for Mexico, but also for 11 countries. So uh, I think that is a great challenge. And the people that is on board is, is, is thinking on that on and on. And they see the results. That is really, really important, not only to think, but also to deliver. I, I, I think you're correct. You, you touch on, on some interesting points on, on vision, on, uh, on impact, on partnerships, on the ability to have um, kind of massive impact in a, in a very big industry. And I think that relates very well to, to the transportation and the, and, the, and the bus industry and on how to translate um, that vision when uh, looking for that top talent that we mentioned. Um, I had a, I had a, 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 a yeah. you are talking about transportation. Yeah. We are one of the biggest partners of Uber and we, yeah. we, we do food. So, uh, and we are like a kind of playground of Uber in some verticals. So is, is, is delivery, but it's also transportation industry. We are sure. redefining the last mile. For sure. No, I, I, I agree. I had I had a, a kind of a, a an odd question to to ask you, and, and, and just getting into your mind as a as a manager. So, what tricks or or what specific questions do you like to ask uh, the the people do you, that that you hire in to your teams or or your interview question? Uh, how, like how, what what do you think about when you are uh, interviewing someone, and 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 uh, particularly for key roles? in this uh, digital transformation effort? Uh, it could be in ASEA, it could be somewhere else, but, but just give us an example. Well, to me, it is really important to, to be pragmatic and, and go straight to the point. So my first question is always the same. Uh, uh, tell me about you yourself. It's, it's an open question. So yeah. with this question, I... I I try to understand if the people is focused on on this uh, pragmatic view, uh, which messages uh, are are transmitting to me, and the other part of the interview to, that it is key for me. If it's so that I'm not a, not an expert in marketing or in IT, um, I know from every uh, areas and each area of of, of a corporation or of such. Or, or verticals, so I uh, I make some very specific questions, and with the answers, I know that the, if if the candidate is uh, really knows or or not about uh, the position. So basically, is yeah. that's the, the way I'm conducting. Those are the two things. Interviews. Great, great, great. Um, and so I think that 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 is is a is a good segue into into our our next. A uh, big theme of, of, of the day is, is uh, basically that, and, and this is something that we talked about before in our conversation before, that, that you mentioned that the, there is no digital transformation unless there is a directive from the top in terms of strategy. Uh, they basically set the, the strategy in motion and then from that it falls down. And we heard uh, a similar uh, a similar comment from from Juan Diego, but there is also a big challenge from the strategy and and taking it down to the execution. No? And so um, my 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 first question is 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 particularly from your experience of of what you've seen in this in in, in Alsea, but also in other countries, other other companies. It can be relatable, but 
how have you seen that work well in terms of setting the objective of a digital transformation and, and how is that rolled out uh, in terms of change in team, change in resources and change in mindset. And I think the last one, which relates very well to that team and, and, and talent component is, is basically a shift in culture. No? And so, so I think that's something that we discussed before and, and, and would love to, to hear um, how you've seen that work well in the past uh, and your experiences and what you're doing in, you know, say. Yeah, to me, this is, this is key. Uh, digital transformation is only possible uh, with a, a cultural transformation in the organization. It's, this is, there is no other way to do it. Um, and this is a top-down decision. It's not a bottom-up or, um, no, it, it's really a top-down down because so many things. The budget, to make a digital transformation, you need money. And uh, you need deep pockets, but also you need to wait for the results. So it's very easy for a corporation that uh, is not clear about the digital transformation um, to stop the projects uh, in a year or in six months because uh, the, 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 there is no results. And all the other areas or commercial areas of the company are doing really well. And the digital areas are doing slow, are generating uh, less revenue, are very small, but on the other hand, are spending lots of money. So this is a, a one way uh, um, highway uh, where you have to know that you, 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 you need to invest lots of money um you you have to be very strong with the vision of course you 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 have to be open to 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 fail and to do it again uh, and learn test and learn and do it again and you you have to change in my opinion the people that is not uh, um, they, they are not going on with the with this new vision of the company uh, I, I'm very radical on that uh, to, 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 to change the culture of an organization you have to change sometimes the people and you have to to make in account that not everybody are ready for, for the change so I think that the best option and I saw that in some companies that I worked for the, the companies that that did the best, were the companies that make these uh, changes very fast and uh, the results were great. And the others that were in the middle, uh, they, they, they fail or they, they did in a very slow way with very uh, much frictions. So to me, it's, it's key to do it fast, uh, very strong and with the people that is on board, the, the, the one that is not on board, uh, there are many other yeah. companies to work for. Uh, those, those are those are great points, and uh, and, and definitely the, the speed of change is something that that impacts. But also just thinking about that this is a long term investment that, that you won't see it the next day. But it, definitely the trend is going there, and and that trend will benefit the business in the long term. No, I think that that is something uh, key. I, I was curious to to hear kind of in that digital transformation. Uh, and you mentioned it also in, in, in uh, that ASEA partners with leading brands like Uber or, or, or kind of top brands or other companies that can help accelerate that, that digital transformation. Because in some cases, uh, it's not the core business of ASEA becoming at the, uh, developing that logistics or complementing the infrastructure that, that you already have. Like, how do you think about uh, building out? your own infrastructure, your own digital team, your own capabilities, but also being flexible to partner with uh, external providers that can accelerate and strengthen um, the objective of, of the business in a, in a faster way and in a, in a more, uh, with more quality, I would say. Uh, this is a great question. You, you have to ask yourself uh, in which things you, you are really good. And uh, in my case, we, we are great providing the best experience possible, dining experience 
possible for, for our customers. We are not an expert on building uh, IT solutions. Uh, we are not the experts um, on the logistics. So we partner with companies that are the experts because the leapfrog is key. We, yeah. if, we, we, if we are going to, to build the best logistics solution, maybe we, we will success, but in how many months or years and at which, co at which cost, uh, against to partnering with the best logistic company uh, in the market. It's, it makes no sense. Of course, you have to find also in your core business, if you want to develop some particular technology that will be, will be maybe your differentiator. But on the other hand, I 100% I with the partnering with the best in the market and also to create new companies, joint ventures, I'm really open to do that. And we are doing that with uh, different companies uh, to, to speed up the, the business and did they do this leapfrog that is key in, this, in the industry. That's great. Um, and, and I think you, you, you mentioned something which is, which is key, you know, that, that, that ASEA um, basically has a core mission to, to, of knowing their customers and making their customers happy. I think that's, that's part of kind of the, the, the big theme. How have you seen that kind of transfer in this digital transformation push um, in terms of the culture and, and the people? And, and, and have you seen kind of the impact show on, on metrics? And, and would love to, to, to hear your thoughts on that connection between kind of that mission, culture, and, and team. Yeah, the first thing that we, we, we made, not only in the digital area, but also in the full company is to change the company vision. And in the company vision, now we, we, we put the customer in the center of all the decisions. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know that that vision had been, had been changed, actually. That, that's a, a very interesting point. Yes. Yes, yeah. because, uh, well, to, at least in the digital area, for us, it's key to understand the customer. And for this reason, now we have a new X area um, because we have to ask the customers um, to launch a product, to build a product. And uh, we, we, we have to be less arrogant because at the end of the day, you, you are the expert in industry and you tend to think that you know about restaurants in my case. So why I have to ask to a customer about uh, what, what they, they, they want in terms of food, in terms of colors, in terms of ambience. But at the end of the day, uh, if you are less arrogant, you, you, you can and ask the customers, you can develop best, better solutions for them. Um, and, and we are on, on that. Before the digital transformation start, uh, the company didn't do that. And maybe the results now are, are just starting, but I, I'm really confident that this, this change that is like something uh, obvious is not so obvious uh, for many companies. Everybody knows what customers want, uh, but every, everybody avoid, are avoiding to, to ask the customers uh, and don't, and we, we don't want to, to listen what the customers want. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And, and, and definitely, I think the data is showing on, on, on all industries at this moment that, that the digital component increases customer satisfaction in a, in a number of, of ways. No? And I think that, that leads me to, to my next question is, I say operates in 11 uh, different markets. Obviously, you manage brands which are global in, in many more markets and you have relationships there. Like, how have you leveraged uh, the information coming from other markets in terms of best practices to apply uh, to particularly Mexico where, 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 or, or, or to, to the markets that you're covering? Um, and, and how does that cross-pollination of ideas and best practices um, take place in, in ASEA? Well, th there is no magic recipe about that. I mean, uh, 
in, in our case, we, we are starting now um, um, to think global and act local. Okay, so now we are start starting to uh, to develop global highways, uh, but letting the custom the the different countries to act lo local because each customer in each country is different. So to me, it's not easy as a global area to develop the user the best user experience for each cast, uh, country because i'm not in it in in 11 countries but what i can do is to develop the 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 back the highway in in where each country can build the local experience this is my experience right now in in other companies it's different and there is no one recipe um, yeah. and but this is the exciting thing about about the transformation you have to test and learn on and on no for sure and and you have i mean you have these brands or the company operates in different markets but you also locally as you mentioned you have different brands which the experience is quite different no some are full fledged full fledged restaurants like uh, cheesecake factory some are fast food restaurants like Burger King or, or Domino's that you see there and, 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 and Starbucks, obviously it's a, it's a completely different experience in terms of the, the time that users get to uh, the, the, the local, get the, get the product, et cetera. So that, that leads me to, to, to my next section on kind of that digital transformation in an omni-channel experience, which is very similar what, what, what you have in terms of the products and the, and, and the brands that you manage uh, are very similar to, to the experience of, of, of transportation or, or, or traveling by bus, you know, that, that you basically have a lot of research or information that you can kind of do before actually going to the experience and, and, and getting that product. Um, but then the actual experience is very physical. You, know, you go to a terminal, you go on a bus, or you go to the restaurant, uh, or you go to the coffee shop. Um, and, and that uh, defines a lot of that communication and, and strategy. So um, I'm curious to, 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 to hear how you think about kind of that digital influence on kind of that physical experience um, and how that changes on kind of a, a specific uh, brand uh, or, or product that you're trying to, to, to push. And so just, just thinking through kind of that customer experience and, and, and where those touch points matter in terms of of, uh, of digital well now we are thinking on in an omni-channel way uh, you, you have to understand that in our industry 90 percent of customers are consuming in the restaurants so if you develop solutions just for the digital world you you will be uh, developing solutions for 10% of the customers. So now we are developing omnichannel solutions that involve the online and offline uh, transactions. And we work for two different customers. The first are the ones that are, are coming to our stores uh, or, or buy online for, for delivery or takeout. But the second are the uh, restaurant's employees what we are um, building right now is a full experience where a customer with this with a single app can uh, give a uh, the, the, the same experience in the restaurant and if if they choose to order online and is everything related to not only uh with the customer experience but also with the data the data to understand the customer behavior so the customer is the same that it sometimes is ordering for is ordering yeah for for a coffee uh in starbucks but uh, the next day is 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 going to a cheesecake factory or pf chunks or chilies uh to dine in and the on the weekend yeah uh, 
the same customers order a pizza in Domino's. So we have to understand the digital journey of the customers online and offline to provide the best experience possible and the data for this thing is key. And, and now we are working very, very hard to, to, to uh, build this omnichannel experience because again, 90% of our transactions are offline. And I think that in the transportation world, it's, it's the same. Uh, you, you can, of course, um, uh, buy a ticket online, but the experience is 100% offline. I don't know anything that uh, from the computer travel from Mexico to Madrid. They have to, <laughs> to be in a plane or in a yeah. ship. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, and and, and that, that, that's interesting that, that, that you mentioned. And, and uh, how, like, the, the question that I have then is uh, thinking about these, these diff like different customers and the experience that, that, that you've mentioned, how do you build out kind of your team um into kind of the brands that you have but also you have to wrap everything together in terms of that communication um and 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 basically have different uh, strategies or, or digital strategies or innovations for each brand but also you need to leverage kind of a, a team together and 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 here i'm thinking about kind of the the, the similarity to the to the ground transportation spaces there are some companies that have one brand and one route or some companies that have many brands and many routes and different markets behave in different ways and different kind of routes have some may have more digitalization and some may 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 not but you have as a as a manager you have to encompass that strategy um in one team uh, and, and and how you think about those levers i think is it's it's interesting no so so we'd love to to hear how i'll say I will say does it. Yes, we are changing the way of working. We now we are working with agile methodology. So we we have different scrums uh, for different brands. One for Domino's Pizza, one for Starbucks, one for our own digital experience that is called in Mexico World Class, one for the omnichannel experience and others. So these are multi-functional uh, teams with people from the digital area, uh, but from, for, from dig different um, areas. In, this, in each scrum, you, you, we, scrum we, we have people from marketing, e-commerce, data, IT, uh, CRM, and um, analytics, and strategic uh, partnerships. So these teams are working on uh, particular solutions to solve problems. 724 and these scrums are maybe working for three months four months six months at, at the end of the project they change um, for other project but this uh, methodology allows us to be really focused on on the problem uh, that we want to solve even if it's online or offline but is related to a brand we we have a very complex model because we don't we, we have not only brands but also uh, global brands, but also local brands. And we have a multi-brand uh, loyalty program that is different in each country because each country is different. So yeah. uh, this is not easy. And now we, we I think we, we have uh, almost done in, in Mexico and now we, we are starting, uh, we start thinking how to do it globally. Oh, perfect. Um... And I have one last question before opening up to, to a few questions that we have here from, from the audience. Um, I think finally, what, what recommendations would you give to, to our audience uh, who may be in companies who are thinking about or are in the middle of digital transformations and that are usually um, more traditional in nature, usually in the, in the transportation space, but could be in, in, uh, in other industries. But uh, what recommendations would you give them uh, aside from the first one that you gave them of, of having kind of the strategy being top down, but kind of things that you've seen and recommendations or, or tips uh, to make their digital transfer transformation successful? Well, I, I run marathons. And to me, the digital transformation is a kind of endless marathon where you are, you, you have to think that, you, 
it is difficult to to get the the finish line and you, you have to stay on in in the move on and on uh, 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 running one kilometer or one mile per, per mile and thinking to to fulfill this the, the, these miles so to me it's, it's key to think on that way that you have to the training there is the moment that you start the digital uh, transformation project uh, when you you start uh, with the right team you you start marathon but the results are, are coming in each kilometer um, of course in a marathon are 26 miles 42 kilometers uh, but you, you have to to start to, to, to stay moving on and on uh, to to get your objective and it's not an easy objective it is it, it's really hard there are many obstacles in in the middle um, uh, you, you want to quit many times but <laughs> you have to be strong yeah. um, pain is natural uh, to to suffer is is optional so that's, <laughs> that's uh, the, the way of that's thinking. good that's good and, and and it wraps together with with the other points that you had mentioned on on, on speed on testing on, uh, on 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 having kind of that message go through the entire the entire team um, but obviously having that mindset that it's an endless marathon it definitely uh, definitely hits home because it's it's a long journey and and but the prize at the end is is, is quite big you know I think that uh, that, that we're on the same page there um, in the really, it's, it's yeah. fun it's really yeah. fun I, I really enjoy what I do and what I expect from my team is the the same level of commitment and uh, and, and, and really that they they, 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 they they have fun that's key okay yeah. is key no great um, I have a question here on 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 uh, on the technology it says technology wise how is the talent rotation in in ASEA and, and how do you deal with just talent rotation in general um, as a manager that that would be interesting to hear your thoughts well what well, I, I think that not talking now not only in ASEA but also in many companies when you start a project a digital transformation project and you are in the kind of a romance um, the rotation is very very low in really uh, because you you are doing very interesting thing things projects um, but when the the project uh, starts because operation starts the stress uh, is, is increasing so sometimes uh, the rotation uh, is, is increasing the point is how to 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 maintain the people motivated and I think that one interesting uh, uh, thing to do is to rotate people from different projects and for this reason to work in an agile methodology is key because the people can stay working in different projects maybe in a year they, they can work in two two different projects uh, with new motivations new challenges so the point is, if you do a great job and you stay in, in, in the spot, your competitors are, 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 uh, will, will come for your talent. And the money is, is not a, an issue for the, 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 the competitors. So you have to get the people motivated. Oh, definitely. Um, definitely. The, 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 other, the other question was around tips for for hiring and, and, and looking into into talent to coming into into your team I think we we covered uh, some of that um, I think finally I, I, I would leave you uh, some space just for 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 any um, any words of advice more as a manager in and, and, and bringing on uh, a top team and, and coming back to your first comments now you're focusing on Kind of building a top team, but also having um, the support of top partners or suppliers around you to make to make the the experience much better to for for the customers. And I think that that relates well for Alsea, but for the rest of of of, uh, of the companies out there. And, and so I, I just wanted to let you have 
some minutes to see if 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 you if you want to complement that 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 idea so we could close out um, the session. But uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I I say before that you 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 this is a deep pocket business and when you th think on the digital transformation you you have to think on investing in lots of money uh maybe betting but on the other hand related to the talent i have people in my team that they have uh, uh offers for double of the money or and they they they, they are not quitting this job because uh, the, the challenge is, 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 is great. And on the other hand, I, I get people uh, uh, from other companies that come to, to work with, the, with us, not because of the money, but also because the, the challenge. So the point is the challenge, how to, to offer uh, really interesting projects to, to the people, very challenging projects, and uh, and the the mood in the, in the job, the, the idea to have a uh, really a collab collaborative uh, um, working work workplace, uh, flexible, um, where 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 the people are not uh, checking the the clock. Uh, and I, I really don't care if the people is at the office or at home or whatever they want. That, the, the, what I, I want is to to get the objective. So I think that is key to retain the the talent and to to move the company to to the next level. That is key to be successful in the digital transformation and in this world. Great, Dario. No, with that, um, I, I want to thank you uh, for 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 taking the time and. And uh, sharing with us definitely learnings and experience that that you've had throughout the years, and and what you're doing at at Alta is, is is definitely interesting, fun, challenging, and I'm sure it will be quite impactful for for such a large operation that 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 you are that you're in charge of. Um, I do want to remind uh, the audience that tomorrow morning we kick off uh, very early at at, at 9 a.m. Central Time. Uh, with the uh, um, asset light revolution of the bus industry uh, with, with Marcelo from, from Busser. It, it's sure to be um, a, an amazing uh, chat and, uh, and you shouldn't miss it. So thank, with that, uh, we'll close the session. Thanks everyone for, for participating and for hearing us out. Um, hope to see you tomorrow. Take care.